Interesting. I think this is what's going on. I think that Americans are probably, for the for a large part, they're doing a lot of buying and selling. Maybe too much buying and selling. Too much transportation. Too much selling everything. Even weapons and stuff like that. So, Americans need to sleep more. Come back to your roots. Come back to your family more. And sleep and spend more time away from the buying and selling. Away from all that stuff. So, you could still make money and have a job. Have a part-time job. But... Don't just sell out to commercialism. That's what America has been doing. And the Jewish Zionists, they know that. They know that. And they saw America as their perfect novus ordo seclorum. It means new order secular. Their perfect sales marketplace. Their perfect place to buy and sell everything. A sales marketplace. That's what they saw America as, a sales marketplace. That's not what the Christians see America as. The Christians see America as a place to raise a family, a place to have a nice household, a place to have fun, a place to have a, a good career, and that stuff is, is that stuff is, is that's not that's not that's what the Americans see, the Christian Americans or positive Americans, Christian American and positive Americans of all sorts, that's what they see America as. And that's what America needs to be. Not just a place for buying and selling everything and forget about your family. Forget about having a good job that you like. So that's what they need to do. They need to seriously kind of attack the corporations. Attack meaning make some changes with the corporations. You know, uh, because the corporate enslavement, that's the issue. Corporate enslavement is the issue. If these would be mom and pop stores, you'd see better families, people having a good time. You wouldn't just see people just a slave to the corporations. And the family value is going downhill. So that's what's going on. Jewish Americans see a great place to buy and sell and trade everything. New order, secular, everything is secular. Buy and sell everything. Buy and sell everything. Buy and sell everything. But uh uh uh. The good Americans and the Christian Americans, they want, they want to promote a safe place to be, family values, uh, make enough money that you can pay off your house, eventually even. Uh, safety, not so much traffic and commercialism, because what's happened is all the freeways, all the great distances everywhere has given everybody the ability to go all these great far places. But you never ask yourself, should you go these great far places? That's what's going on. That it's in Jurassic Park. You, you got all this great stuff and doing all this stuff, but you never ask yourself if you should. You know, if you could, you could, but you never ask yourself if you should. You should have small communities with small communities, small farms, small communities, families right there and driving locally. You should not go such great distances to where just commuting back to the house, to the home, takes three hours through freeways. And people either want to give up or they want more money, more money from it. Even though you're not adding any value, how could you get any money? You're only losing money and draining money out because of the great distances. So work closer to home. And this comes back to the idea I had a long time ago. The great distance commuting should be kind of made illegal. Everybody has to work within, you know, whatever, 100 blocks of where they live. No more of this gigantic commuting because that's a part of making the world. This world traveling great distance psycho culture of criminals just running over the ground, destroying everything just to make more money. Satanic world. See? Satanic world. So it really is a lot of study in all these things to understand it. But family values is not coming from being on the road all the time. Ka ching. Exactly right. Sling thing. Uh, family values is not going to come from being on the road all the time, great distances. Family values is coming is coming from saying no to all that and 
developing businesses, lifestyles closer to home, closer to home, where you are close to your community, a community that you like, choose a place that you like, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, something with history and culture or something that you like, Mardi Gras at the New Orleans. So something that you like, it's a, a neat American town, Chattanooga. So we need to start celebrating these American towns. We need to start celebrating these American towns. We need to start celebrating these American towns and cities. Chicago and New York and Philadelphia, Boston. These are historical places with the freedom from the British in 1776. And these amazing towns have all kind of great things. Fort Wayne, Indiana, and in rainfall and amazing things. That's what's going on. That's the thing.